Oh, got it. Oh, what the? Oh, wow. You cracked that back in. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, shoot. We have Jeremiah and Illy here today. We're going to do two different videos. Um, I'll put the link to each of their videos within their description box of each of their videos. And I think we're going to work with you today first, yes. Jeremiah. Okay, and I'm going to have you sit okay. here. And you can uh, just watch and see what it's like. Okay. Will this be your first adjustment? Yeah, it's my first adjustment. Okay, and it's not his first. He's actually been to my office already. Yeah. And how many times? It's about the fourth time now. Yeah. And what originally brought you into the office? Originally, um, I had a severe pain in my shoulder. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't stretch it out too far. Yeah. And I, it was a bunch of cracks that was happening on its own. Yeah. And I would move it and just stretch it out. I would hear a, a nasty crack. And it wouldn't feel no, good? No, not at all. And then we started working with him. But tell the progress After we made the so process, I actually felt a great adjustment on my shoulder blade. I actually feel less pain, you know. I actually felt a, a, a pinched nerve before. Mm -hmm. And now it's, it's actually gone. Okay. So you had a pinched nerve or shoulder impingement. And that was one of the things that we released. So this, I think, is your fourth or fifth? Yes, I think it's the fifth now. Fifth, fifth adjustment. So you get to see. And, um, you know, I just wanted to include it. And then um, his, his girlfriend, can we say no, that? Just friend. Just friend. Friends, okay. Yeah. So friend, I'm sorry, that was bad. Uh, <laughs> so uh, his friend, Illy, it's your very first adjustment. Yeah. So you see someone that's experienced in my office and someone that's brand new in my office. So we're going to have you start face down. Is everything out of your pockets? Yes. All right. And you're going to put your nose straight in there. And we're going to work on some different things. Now, you wanted the right shoulder to be looked at, right ankle. Correct. And lower back, correct? Yes. Yeah. So we have to make sure we do everything that he likes. And the lower back feels tight in here, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Very. All right, I'm going to put these uh, traction on you so that you're going to feel me tie up the ankle, okay. secure the ankle, and then give it a little bit of a stretch, and then um, get the machine going. And the machine is going to stretch out his lower back. It runs in the background while I work on him. Now, are you doing any sports these days or the pandemic slowed things down? Definitely doing some sports, some MMA. You do some MMA? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you do jiu-jitsu and striking? Right now, we're focused on kickboxing and regular boxing. Okay, but slowly you've done a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, we're slowly transitioning into it. Yeah. So turn your head to the side so we can hear you better, to this way. There you go. So you're saying uh, you're going through all the different forms right yeah. now. Transitioning into kickboxing right now. Then we're going into jujitsu. Do you love it? Yeah, I actually do. It's a new passion of mine that I fell in love with. That's awesome. My trainer has been trying to get me to go in for about 10 years, <laughs> and I've been avoiding it. <laughs> so now, now, now you're doing it. Yep. My brother is a high-level jujitsu player. Oh, really? Yeah. And he trains at American Top Team in Florida, where a lot of the famous UFC fighters That's train. Exactly. Now, there. my brother doesn't do striking; he just does jujitsu. But he is a black belt, and he got his black belt at American Top Team, which is, you know, a very respected gym. Uh, before that, he competed in judo for many years, and he's oh, a black wow. belt in judo also. But my brother's, you know, in his late fifties, but still competes. He um, keeps you young. He goes and enters in the master's division, and he's um, probably had over 150 bouts in the last 10 years. So he skits out a lot and goes to tournaments. So how long has he been fighting for? Well, including judo, you know, 40 years. Wow. wow. Because he lived in Japan, and he trained at the Kodokan in Japan for 20 years and got his black belt there in Tokyo um, and would go to tournaments. He loves tournaments, so he's like always in tournaments. And before that, he was a college wrestler. So he's been at it, you know, before that he was a high school wrestler, but he's always been a grappler. He loves grappling. He didn't have an interest to do striking. He just liked the grappling part of it. Wow. But um, 
it's you know I've I've gone to a lot of his tournaments. Fun to watch him compete. But I also am very impressed with the community. Yeah. Like people like, they're just you know they make good friends through that community. So people see each other at tournaments and they're happy to see each other. It's and about the good energy. Yeah, it's good energy. You know, I would say for the most part, there's this amazing community among fighters, fighters and jujitsu players. You know, they try to hype it up when you watch a fight on TV of how much they hate each other because mm -hmm. that sells tickets. But I, I think for love. the most part, there's just so much respect and mm -hmm. and care. and care and camaraderie between competitors. Yeah, that's true because anything can happen in yeah. that ring. I've even heard, you know, fighters go out for a beer and, you know, maybe not that first night, but at some point, some point yeah. they make a connection because they'll never forget that they had that bout together. It's all an image they have yeah. to put out. But it sells tickets for them to look like they hate each other. And that's not always the case. Some of them are even sparring partners at some point yeah. in their life. So they train together at the same gym and now they have to fight. So it's not that they hate each other. It's not that they hate each other. They train on yeah. moves and stuff like that. So yeah. I played rugby in college, oh, and I, um, I just loved rugby. is definitely a sport that, no matter what happens on the field, as soon as it's um, you know the game is over, you're you're heading to the local bar to drink some mm -hmm. beers and sing some songs, and yeah. sometimes <laughs> trade shirts. You know, you take my shirt, I take your shirt, so we have a souvenir. And um, I've seen it get really rough on the field, but then afterwards, everybody drops there. Ego. their ego and just enjoys mm -hmm. the next hour or two just hanging out uh, having a beer and laughing and I game. like that I think that's important that's what life is about it's to be games yeah. super are they <laughs> yeah how many times I've played oh right there oh, wow so now I'm really digging in and this is his lower back and I'm on the quadratus lumborum and That's amazing. You can see where I am right here, right? Yeah. Right in there. Oh, shit. All right. That felt good. So, big breath in and blow it out. Wow. That was a big one. Wow. How'd that feel? Amazing. Oh, shit. I can breathe. Good. Lie on your side facing me. We're going to continue to release the lower back, and then we're going to do some Y strap next, okay? All right, gotcha. So that's oh. coming up, everybody. But we're going to do um, a little more into the lower back. Going to put a string in the way. And we're going to go right in there. I'm gonna put my hand under here. Give me a little tug on the arm here like that. A little less, you're strong. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go in here if I can. L4. Oh, it's just one, I just wanna get one there. Now I'm gonna do more. So let this fall. Got more. Oh, oh gee. Good. How about that? Let's do the other side, okay? Was that nice? Yeah, what was it? <laughs> All right, good. Good, good. Ready? Oh, got it. Whew. There's the toes. Yeah, we need to know it's adults. Here's another one. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, wow. I felt that one. Got it. Oh, got it. All right. Oh, what the? <laughs> what is that? 
use some loot shit. <laughs> That's good stuff for you. So now I'm gonna do a, a, a one I saw on your shoulder blade, okay? So I'm gonna put my hand in here. I'm gonna pull your shoulder blade down. Oh, wow. And crack that back in. That's amazing. Now, do you feel how this is stuck under here? Yeah. I'm going to have you sit up. Let's do that. And turn your body all the way this way. And then maybe put half one leg on that half and then move forward. Forward, 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 forward. And. So I'm going to move your hair out of the way. Is that OK? Yeah, that's fine. And we're going to come under here and kind of get this spot here. And that's the occiput where it meets the atlas. So I'm going to put my pisiform part of my hand, turning. It's already moving. Oh. Got it. Turn this way and tell us what you feel in the camera. I, I feel, I don't even know what I feel right now. This shit is amazing. Oh, man. I can move my neck more. Big I love pop, it. right? A huge pop. I was not expecting that. Oh, wow. Okay. So lie on your back next. Yo, I couldn't do that. Okay, those are ready. So now we're gonna just let, come down a little bit. And I might have you just hang your knees off a little bit. So all the way to here. And I'm going to put the Y strap behind your neck. You're going to help me pass your hair through so it doesn't get caught. And pull it, pull it out. Perfect. All right, so let's just get this to catch in the back of your head. There, it's in there. Nice. So he might slide a little bit because I don't tie his ankles down, but I want to get a little pull with him today. So big breath in and blow it out. Good. I'm going to do one more and here we go. Big breath in and blow it out. Holy shit. Wow. Oh man. Where am I? That was crazy. Oh. I don't even feel that tightness anymore is gone. Oh. Wow. Wasn't expecting that either. Yo. I'm just speechless right now. Yeah, I'm very speechless. Where did you hear it release or feel it release? release? Right in the lower part yeah. of my left side of my neck. Did you feel your body fly up in the I air? I definitely did. Yeah. I was floating for like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, he almost pulled you off that bed. Yeah. My knees was hanging off. <laughs> so now I'm going to adjust into here, okay? Yeah. That's another thing I have to tell you right there. Go. Oh my god. Boom. So unbelievable. You have a gift, man. Oh, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna try to go in low here and get one last one. It's all the way down at T1. It's tricky to get, but got it. What was that? So that goes under the trap. And it's just a deep one yeah. inside. It's I all the way inside. Right yeah. Oh my God. I didn't know like that. Scoot down towards me, a little left, okay? There's still this upper one I want to get. Maybe even more. Come down a little bit lower. Don't hold the table though. So put your own fingers behind you. And I'm going to reach under. How many was that? Like three or this four? Like five. Five. <laughs> that was a lot. I'm stuck. <laughs> that was nice. 
Oh man, these cracks are just amazing. There's another. We still have one left to do. Hold your own back. You feel like spaghetti yet? Uh, I do. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, shoot. I felt it go down my spine. I felt that one go down. That was good. Wow. So come stand here and face us and just tell us how you're feeling. Oh, man. A little tingling sensation, but that's amazing. Oh, I wasn't able to do that before without that little stutter going down. You see, you have more smoother range yes. of motion? It's very smooth. Oh, man. I can do so much. What was your favorite part? My favorite part? Um, honestly, when you just pulled me from half of the seat, you know, with the Y strap. That right there, I felt the very, it was from the back of my neck all the way to the middle of my spine. It pulled the whole chain? Yeah. Great. That was nice. I like that. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, now we're gonna do uh, Illy next, and you're gonna see that in the next video. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, shoot.